Oh, I'm looking huge on my camera. Yeah, man, that's me, Shmo. This is a Shmo with the pro with the number 7th ranked UFC middleweight, the gorilla, Darren Till in the flesh, Las Vegas. How we doing? That's all I'm going to do. He's looking good, man. This might be the best you looked during fight week the Schmo senior. You're already on weight, it seems like. Thank you, Schmo. I am, yes. Uh, I think I'm 172 right now. Oh, good, yeah. Is that pounds? Yeah, 172 pounds. What, are you going to be fighting at welterweight now? Sushman, yes. Don't you know they've changed the opponent? Yeah. I know they look alike, but they've changed the opponent. Oh, God. <laughs> Come on, Schmo. What do you want? Oh, the Schmo wants to speak to you, man. You got a big fight. You got Derek Brunson. A lot of people see this man as the winner getting the title shot potentially. Obviously, you got Jared Cannonier in the mix, man. But how do you feel with the victory here? I feel they, they might they may well offer me uh, the title shot because uh, with like I said he needed time off. But I'm I'm not in no rush mo I'm, I'm twenty eight years old. Derek that Derek's thirty seven, thirty eight is he so like he's probably rushing to get there faster than me, but you know, I'm gonna go out there Saturday, beat Derek. And I'm uh, I wanna like I wanna start eliminating people in the middleweight division. I know me and Whitaker had a close fight, but you know, if I can run it back with Whitaker, if I can get a title shot at the champ either or or one step back, cannon here, stuff like that. There's there's loads of good options for me now when I beat Derek on Saturday. So uh, I'm not rushing it. I, I'm getting better. I'm getting hungrier as 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 you know, as I get older. So uh, I'm I'm happy with my evolution and, and the way my career's going. I am really happy with it. Any level of disappointment, we can hear Sweet Caroline in the hometown September 4th. Man, we had to move it from the UK here to Vegas. Uh, no, I don't think I want to be walking out to music show. There's, there's not many fans. I think there's a, I think there's only like 70 fans. So like, what's the point? Like that, 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 that came alive when I fought at Liverpool and then obviously came alive at like uh, when I fought in Texas and then in London, etc. on after that, Madison Square Garden. But then I fought in Abu Dhabi with no fans. It was just like the UFC staff around. And I think it's sort of going to be the same thing now. And I, I just think, I, I just don't think it's the same buzz coming out of that with like, no fans in terms to with fans. So I think I'm just going to walk out with no music and just get the business, just get the job done. When you look at the biggest draws in the UFC, you look at the biggest names, the biggest stars, where does Darren Till fit in the equation in the mix of, you know, the Nick Diaz, the Nate Diaz, the Conor McGregor's, the Jorge Masvidal's? Where does the gorilla fit in this? I don't think I'm quite, I think I'm like one level under. Now, I think I'm, I'm a massive, huge draw and I bring a lot, but I think I'm still one under them. So I think beat Derek, get the strap on, and, and that's, that's where I'm at. Because obviously I'll be carrying like the flag for England with, with, with many of us. There's a lot of talent coming through now in England, so yeah, that's 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 where I think I'm at. I don't want to be too cocky. Your troll game is strong, but who's got the best DM sesh with you on Instagram? Is it Israel Adesanya? Is it Platinum Mike Perry? Who's the guy? It's Joe Romero. He sent me, he's, I've never sent, like showed, he sent me three voice notes. Uh, this was about a year ago, and I didn't really understand it. It was just like, okay guys, you take care, or just like, God, like he just said, three, sent three voice, no voice notes, and I was just like, wow. Like, so that's the best DM session I've got with him. And he just talks shit. To, oh, fuck my Perry. Fuck my Perry. Yeah. <laughs> so obviously, you got your opponent here, Derek Brunson. He's going to want to wrestle you. We got Mike Grundy on the couch right there. He's been peppering you all week for this, man. Why is this guy not going to be able to take you to the ground? Uh, because of Mike Grundy, my wrestling coach. There he is over there in the flesh. Yeah. We've been doing a lot of rounds wrestling for this fight. Uh, we obviously working on take down the fence and stuff. By the f I'm confident in me take down the fence. Derek's a good wrestler. He's a good chain wrestler as well for MMA. We, we like the way he comes to the legs and to the body lock. He, he does it well. And uh, he's, he's, he seems like a strong guy. He's got long arms. So, you know, you've, you've de I've got to definitely take the wrestling with Derek's game serious. And his hands. He's got power in his hands. You know, he's a, he's a formidable foe. He's a formidable opponent. So obviously you insisted on doing this interview with the schmo with your shirt off. When does the male modeling start? <laughs> Never. I mean, have you seen this day to me? I'm all fucking ugly, cunt. <laughs> it doesn't start, schmo, does it? you got more chance to me, mate, than you are but ugly. So, so, yeah, I'm going to try that. So. <laughs> Can we get a final message for all the Gorilla fans out there worldwide? Uh, thank you guys for supporting me through my wins, my highs, my losses and my lows. Uh, tune in Saturday night for uh, another win from the Gorilla. Peace out. He's the pro on the schmo. Las Vegas, UFC Vegas 36, September 4th, made event. Nice watch. Thank you. We're out. <laughs>